Hello folks and welcome back to Vectorio. We are here uh, basically where we left off last time. We just unlocked our builder port which houses a builder drone which can automatically construct nearby blueprints. So we're going to confirm that. But more importantly, we have this guy, Basic Crafter. It crafts uh, tier 1 resources into tier 2 resources. Uh, and then we can customize stuff. So that's what we want to do. Uh, we have plenty of resources to get that done so I'm not worried about that one taking too long. Um, and then we'll go in and see what's next for us. What I think I might want to do here, too, is slowly expand stuff. Because um, I would like to try to knock out some of these enemy hives if possible. So we're going to wipe out these guys as well because we don't need that many of them here. And what we can do is we can try to protect these areas here. And we're just slowly going to attack that hive. So hopefully, shoot him, shoot him. I guess I should put one in there to cover them. There we go. And I don't know what this does, but I want to, if we can knock out enemy hives, that's a good thing. There we go. Now I want to try to keep enough of these far away that uh, we can keep that stuff safe. I like this just crew coming over, flying in, doing their thing. Good work, guys. Um, but we're researching this. We're getting, hopefully, closer and closer. And you can see we're still on the edges of our power consumption. So we need to be careful with that and get those things in there. There is no button for inventory in this game. So if you click on inventory, um, there's no shortcut button or anything like that. Uh, you can see that we have lots of stuff, but there's so much that we don't have right now. The builder drone is cool. Um, we just don't have a need for it right now. We're not building anything super far away. We have no units to speak of. And our researchers, we have uh, all of that stuff there. Defense-wise, we have this guy, um, which we have not used at all. Uh, it uses a lot more power. But you can see it's the same area. It has less health but it fires multiple bullets at once. So it can cover a larger area in theory. So let's go ahead and put one in just to see what it does. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Uh-oh. Look at all of them coming in. And we're slowly breaking through the walls there. That's what we need to do. Oh, but we're, waking, we're making these guys mad with that thing. Every time we shoot it, they pop out tons of guys. And I don't know how to repair these things, so that's a, a little bit of a problem. Alright, let's... Uh, we can't even build another one because we don't have the power for it. So let's get rid of that guy. And let's get rid of that guy. That should give us enough power. Go in and build one of these that hopefully we can keep farther back. And just knock out this run of stuff coming in. Yeah, this guy's going to get knocked out here pretty soon. That's okay. Uh, see, there's nothing big deal going on back here. I love this area. I, I want to do a lot with that area in the future. But you can see that we are slowly knocking that hive down. It is uh, not what it was before. This, that ring of hexes is getting hopefully obliterated. You can see every time we shoot that, it's knocking off two and a half compared to these guys, which are just one. So this thing's super powerful, and I like it. All right, hopefully we do that. The basic crafter is coming up, which is going to allow us to do a whole lot more here real soon. Oh, I never customized that one to allow it to access all of the gold. Oh no. So inputs are there. Outputs are there. There we go. Okay. Let's go in here. Um, first off, we need to go into our inventory, logistics, and is it crafters? We have our basic crafter now. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to put, let's say, two of them one and two. 
All right, and then for these, well, what we need to do is their recipes. So we can go in and we can see that we can take a gold and a crystal light and generate gilded crystal. All right, so we'll do that. We'll do that. Again, I could have copied those, but I didn't because I'm not a smart person all the time. And no, we're going to just do the one. So your input's there. Your output is going to be there. And then I can middle click and make another one of you. And then we'll do the same thing up here, except your inputs are there. Your output is there. Finish selection. There we go. And then uh, we have those things that need to be stored somewhere. So we're just going to make a little storage depot up here. And once we get all of our stuff built here, we'll take these guys out and put them in there to store them up. So our input is that, our output is that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a ranger. Oh no, we need advanced storage. That's right, this storage does not work for these things kind of a bummer. All right, so we're going to get rid of all that because it doesn't matter. Why are we not doing stuff here? <laughs> this is one thing I dislike about this game. It's not clear where these things go and what we're doing here. So that should be ready to roll. Like we have the stuff, just don't know what to do with it. So we'll have to see what exactly is that. So let's go in here and take a look at our collection storage. Small storage capable holding up to 50 of any tier one resource, okay. So now we have tier two resources. That's our problem. Um, all right, I don't know how to get those unlocked. So maybe we just need to expand out. Sure, let's find out. So we're gonna slowly build on some more stuff here. Oh boy, we're in a firefight. <laughs> Uh-oh. So that's all, so like this one over here is not in his range. And we're gonna have to figure out how to unlock some of this stuff. Because we do have the resource, we just can't do anything with it. So I, can I output it to there? Nope. <laughs> oh, you know what I have to do? All right, so our output's gonna be the basic lab. There we go. Okay, that's dumb. But we're making that resource, now we can output it into there to do our stuff. Okay, not a big deal, just uh, random. You can see that we are slowly chipping away at their defenses here. And hopefully when we have uh, some bigger stuff, we can do more damage to them. All right. 
maybe we can build more crafters. Inputs are there, our outputs are there. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get another one of these. We're gonna go into storage. And we have advanced storage. We can't even afford it right now because it costs the resources that we don't have. So let's go into research. Let's grab, let's get the power generator. That sounds like fun. How, oh yeah, look at us. There we go. Now we're going to shoot their stuff for funsies. I also love that we uh, took out that base there. So let's see. What does it look like to bring that up farther? Do that, and then that, because that's all we need. There we go. Just to be annoying. We need to continually research all the time. All right, but we have power now. So if we go over here and the power and heating, you see that we have that, but we can't do anything with it because we need that other resource. So after we get the Ranger, then we'll be able to unlock the new resource and hopefully be able to do a whole lot more fun stuff here. I'm gonna get rid of this one, just move it back farther. And hopefully that will at least allow us to do that. This guy's gonna come over here. And when you click on these, you can see the target closest, weakest, strongest, or the furthest. I like keeping one with closest, but sometimes it doesn't really matter. But we're gonna knock out another hive. You can see that that hive is now no longer labeled. That one is fine there. And we have this area that we don't know the decryption key for yet, but hopefully we'll get to soon. And then we're going to expand down into this, like, weird looking thing. We also have another hive over here, and we have another enemy base or resource area over here. I don't know if any resources really matter or not, um, but we'll find out, I guess. We should be able to knock that guy out too. And hopefully, yeah, you can see that we're slowly knocking back their uh, draw on some of these resources. Which is great, because as we can slowly expand down, like that guy only comes out to about there, so we could theoretically put another one like right here and start knocking out a lot of their base if we wanted to. So let's see what that looks like if we wanted to. Oh, nope. See that? That's well within the range of all of that stuff, so that's not going to work for us. I'll, I'll leave that guy out. I don't think we need that right now. And this area is still representing a little bit of a problem for us. We're getting shot at quite a bit. There we go, we'll confirm that unlock, and then we're gonna get the new resource going as quickly as possible here. And these guys are continually under attack. This guy needs to survive longer term, so what we might do is go into defenses and walls and just put a wall in front of it. So at least when they attack it, they have to go through the wall and it should be able to defend itself. But you can see we are breaking down that base, which hopefully means less bad guys in uh, coming after us here. I don't like that these guys exist. That's a problem for us. But hopefully we can knock that thing out. That would be very nice. 
and we're going to slowly ever so slowly start expanding down here as well i don't think we can do anything with these yet because it's a tier one collector i think we need to have another level up although i don't know what it doesn't tell me what level of resource they are it's tier one or something else all right we're gonna get rid of these guys and we're just gonna slowly move on down here like that that's offline we can get rid of this guy and we're back online cool Our save was successful. We're still working on that encryption key. And you can see there's quantum de uh, decryption that we need to do. There's like crazy looking enemy bases farther out here. Which I don't know. Like see they have like shields and stuff. And they have whatever that is. Wow. They have significant amounts of stuff. And then they have whatever this is. That looks dangerous. But you can see our base is there. Um, our region overview. Oh, we got that unlocked. Heck yeah. All right, so let's go ahead in and see. All right, so. I'm just going to assume these are tier one units. I don't actually know. So if I go into inventory and take a look at logistics, you can see that we don't have any of those. Okay, that's that's really what I wanted to know. All right, we're getting all that built up. All right, so we can customize. Our inputs are gonna be that. Our output's gonna go to there. Cool. Now we should have more of that stuff built up. And then we need these guys here to go output up there, I believe is what I want to do. So our inputs are going to be that storage and outputs are going to be there. Finish that selection, it's going to go up and delivers its stuff in there. Perfect. Oh, I didn't put a recipe with these. Goodness. There we go. Okay. So we should be making that stuff a little faster now. Not that it really matters, but I like having it. And I really should have a tier two storage area for some of that stuff. So we're going to go to advanced storage because we can't afford it now. And your job is going to be to get stuff from there and output it there. And your job is now going to be input from there and output to there. And I think that will work. We are researching new stuff, so we still have all that essence still remaining. And we can absolutely just build on more. So we're gonna build on a new uh, area for some drones to go in. And a new storage area. Inputs are there, your outputs will be right there. And we'll get three of those, I think, will be enough. And do we have any? What else do we have here? Oh, we have the node reactor. That's right, we can build more power now. All the logistical stuff were fine. A ranger I want to play with. Because look at the range on this. Like, it's insane how much range that has. We could put that there and wipe out 
that entire area no problem but to do that we need some more power so we're gonna go back into inventory we'll go I'm trying to see if we have anything else so we don't have a whole lot of stuff that we can do things with but uh, we're gonna go over into logistics heat and power and we're gonna grab a node here and basically these I think just need to be placed on top of these things and they produce the power that we need. We just don't have them in storage yet, but hopefully that will happen. There we go. And that added only 10. So it's not like a huge increase in the amount of power we get for each one of those, but we can hopefully balance this area with power and also output. Um, let's go back over here and go over defenses. Let's get our ranger and let's just try to see if what we can do with them to worry about stuff. All right, and our power is, we got all of those solved, so our power is up. How are we doing on this? You can see that is going down, so that's good. We are making progress, and I have no idea what that green one is at all. Who is supplying these guys with stuff? Oh, you know what? We forgot to add these guys as inputs on there. Okay. Now we should be cooking and doing all the things. All right. I'm, I'm much happier now that we are producing this stuff quickly. And we're just waiting on that to get up to 350, I believe. It's a it's a crazy. I want to drag that over, select that, and put it onto our shortcut list there. Yeah, you can see it gives you a little idea of what each thing cost, um, and that's 350. So oh, we need more storage, don't we? So we're gonna go over into logistics and advanced storage, and we'll add on more advanced storage. And we're just gonna make sure that that's all put out there. And now we have enough stuff to afford all of that. Beautiful. To remember that each one of these is fairly expensive actually. It's not, a, it's not an inexpensive resource to have. So can I move these over to different spots? Nope, okay. So I guess once you put them on there, it's there. There we go, look at that. <laughs> Come on, shoot it. Takes away 14 with each shot. That's incredible. I'm so happy right now. You see, this is what's sending out bad guys. These are the little generators. So if we can knock those out, which we do have the range to do, we're in good shape. This all is going beautifully. I'm very happy. These guys are doing their job. These guys are doing their job. And we have capacity for everything. Like we're not hurting for anything. Uh, we could deal with some more of this stuff right now. And I probably do need the better way to optimize all of that, but I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, you can see also in the recipe, we don't have, we only have the one recipe that we can do. We don't have anything else. So once this guy gets online, we should have, what, 650 storage? Yeah, or 625, okay. So tier two storage is only uh, 25 and not uh, 50, like the tier one storage. <laughs> and I'm assuming they use these resources to make their stuff. So once that's gone, they don't have that. And I don't know what that thing is either. All right, but they have no resources on that anymore. No, attack that thing. I don't know what these things are either. They all say empty, but I don't know what that actually means. And their rangers cover their entire base, which is kind of cool. It's a good idea. It's just our base is kind of sprawling right now and it's all over the place. Um, I guess I could theoretically like box one of these in and make it its own distinct area 
and then have it transport stuff back to a central core. Um, but I just don't know enough of this game yet to really decide one way or the other it, what's a good idea and what's a bad idea. Uh, so we are continuing to research this stuff, uh, and then we got to figure out what's going on with this. And you can see our decryption still is unknown. I do like that we have additional power right now as an option for us. So we are going to just build up our capacity along the north edge here. And we have this whole area that uh, <laughs> has survived for some odd reason. And we're just going to provide them a little bit more support just in case. Because when we get to a decrypt area, it's kind of all bets are off as far as what we're doing with that. Oh, I need to get more power. We almost ran out of power there, so that's lucky that we had plenty left in those tanks there. All right, this the, this research is just taking a while, but that's okay. I think once we get that done, we'll be able to uh, unlock that thing. You can see there's an enemy wave in, inbound. And when this thing hits, it is devastating to them. It's great. But he's legitimately knocked out all of the stuff that is close to that. So what we can do is move down here and set up another ranger. Let's see, I just need to see range-wise. So I can get that like right around there. Nope, not that one. Okay. So that, we can get another ranger out like there. We're just on the edge of what they can do to us, but we can still knock out all of that stuff with no problems whatsoever. And then as we do that, we should be able... I don't know how we're going to knock those out, honestly. All right, so we have that unlocked. Let's see, what else do we have? We got a new recipe, Liquid Essence, but we don't have the resource for that. Let's go ahead and just do a Safeguard Beacon. Oh, Sweepers, what do those do? Fast Firing Turret that covers an area with bullets. High DPS, but low range. Reinforces nearby tiles, increasing the amount of health and built. Heck yeah, we need that. All right, then if you take a look here, our encryption key is ready to go. We've uh, got that. Let's just build up some more defense around our decryption spot. There we go. We'll get that on point and then hopefully we'll be able to do some more. But we also need some more power. There we go. We should be back up. But you heard the power run out there for a hot second uh, and what I really need to do also is make sure that our power generation stations are well protected because if they're not we're in big trouble but yeah this guy is doing just awesome just knocking out their stuff slowly but surely and the idea here is that if it gets on here it might the bolts do continue, so it might be able to knock that out, and then we can slowly kind of inch towards, build another one over here and kind of inch towards those areas. Um, but that's kind of one of the things we got to check and see what's going on with it. Uh, so, bug record, what do we do? All right, I'm going to go in and begin decryption, and we're going to see what's coming our way here. So we got our first big ship coming in. Focus on him. There we go. The Rangers just do a fantastic job. Look at this. That guy got really far. I mean, he didn't get all the way through, but he still got farther than I would have liked. And we got lots of firefighting happening right now. They are definitely trying us. Ooh, those are new ships. I don't remember seeing those before. See those little guys? 
Cool. Group attacking coming from where? Okay. We still got another minute to, to absorb all of these attacks. This area up here has been very quiet. And I like how they just generate out of nowhere. Like they're just coming out of the ground for no reason at all. This area down here is just getting lit up. Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff coming in. I guess we need to knock that hive out as well and then work our way over here, I think. What is that resource down there? Okay, so we need to actually work our way down there as well. There we go. We passed our decryption. We did our job. We can get rid of all of this stuff because we don't need it anymore. And we're just fighting off the last of the uh, bad guys that were coming in for that attack. But we are doing our job. Um, so we're going to keep having some bug things. I'm going to uh, probably stop the recording here because I want to save the game and go through and try to see if we can clear any bug problems. Um, but let's take a look here and just open up our research here and see what we have. Uh, so you can see that we have this overclocker now, which is brand new to us. Um, so I'm going to select that because we don't have this infused crystal. I don't know how to do that. And if I go into the basic crafter and change the recipe, it's still that. So I don't know what to do with that one. But we have everything we need and our base is uh, looking all pretty in all kinds of ways. And I love that we are slowly but surely wiping out the bad guys. And look, it is hitting where it looked like it did hit, let's see. Okay. I'm hoping that we can knock out that in some way, shape or form. We'll find out a little later. There we go. That's what we want. No, go back to shooting him. Yes. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to uh, save here. Uh, we'll be back next time with some more Vectorio. But as you can see, this game really is super fun and interesting. And I, I, I dig what's going on here. So I will catch you later. Have a good one, folks. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.